Uh, Hi. Uh, Hi. How are you? <laughs> How are you guys? Good. Thanks for coming on. Yeah, thanks for having me. This is like a lifelong dream of mine, so. <laughs> we get fame for speaking to you. You're such a legend. <laughs> <laughs> when you guys reached out, I was like, soccer problems. Like, everybody else I was like, oh, cool, but you guys, I was like, they, they reached out to me. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Well, first off, congrats on your SEC championship. That's amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, that was awesome. I was super stoked to lift that trophy up. <laughs> I bet. You can't that's say so... that we know the feeling. <laughs> I wish. Was we it won. heavy? Was it the, was the trophy it heavy? Was. I don't know if you saw the video of it, but I, I had my gloves on and everything, and I'm like, oh, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> That's <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Oh my gosh. So, so we're going to dive right in. So tell us the next day you were asked to try out for the, t the football team the, the following day. Yeah. So like Monday morning we got in, it was like 1 a.m. or something. So then about 11, I was packing to go home for Thanksgiving and like Christmas break. <laughs> and uh, they, I saw a missed call from my assistant coach and I was like, oh crap. Like, <laughs> what what did I do like I'm in trouble <laughs> you first know? instinct never yeah. very good when the coach calls season's you. over why would you like expect to be like have a call from them so um but I called him back and he was like hey are you busy and I was like just packing and he's like uh well can you stay for like a week I was like well what is it and he's like they need a kicker on the football team can you do it yes or no and he's like don't don't think about it just yes or no and I was like ah yes okay yes and <laughs> oh my god so he's like, all right, be out there in an hour um, and we'll, we'll try a few kicks, see how you do. Nothing's permanent. So you gotta, you gotta perform and everything. But um, yeah, I went out there and I think I missed two out of like 15. Wow. So yeah. That's crazy. Did you feel like a lot of pressure when you like did that first, like those first 15 kicks or did you just feel like I have nothing to lose? Yeah, honestly, nothing to lose. I was like, I'm just here. I want to help you guys out. Um, obviously I wanted to do a good job. Uh, that was my main bit. Like, why would you go and do a crappy job? Like, <laughs> so <laughs> had like football pads on and everything. Uh, for the first one, no. For like the the tryout, no. But then like afterwards, they they were like, all right, we got to get you fitted. And I put them on. And I was like, oh, this is badass. Yeah. Like, this is really cool. <laughs> it's very, exactly. you know, to kick a football to a soccer ball, like it's extremely different. So I I'm literally blown away that you had to adapt with literally that short of notice because that's not it's not like kicking a soccer ball <laughs> no no it's not I mean it's it's funny I don't know if you guys seen the picture of me like side by side with uh, me kicking a soccer ball and a football like my body language is and everything is like very similar um but yeah like the timing of like how you like how fast you have to kick the football is different um and obviously like people are running at you I just think of it as a game like I got the ball at my feet like being a goalkeeper and I'm like oh I got to get rid of it now so I kind of get that like um like energy from it I, and so I really like that that's awesome you had a legendary kick in soccer and still do right like you how far could you kick the ball uh Not sure I hadn't I made an assist um in the tournament I I was way I don't know like 10 10-ish yards before midfield. I think the wind helped a little bit, but <laughs> hey, no, it was you. <laughs> you don't tell people. <laughs> Wait, but was I, that your first assist? It, not in, so in high school, I made a lot of assists and then mm -hmm. I, I'm an undocumented assist. Um, Olivia Simmons had an amazing dribble and, and she scored against uh, LSU. Nice. Um, that was from a punt, but um, yeah. And I had a bunch in high school uh, same from midfield, uh, taking a free kick and everything. So that's so that's cool. Amazing. Yeah. <laughs> what, what do you, I'm just curious, what do you think like helps with that? Cause I feel like so many young players, you know, they're always working on that. I, even when I played defense, I was always the one kicking the ball. First of all, it's tiring. <laughs> but, um, is there anything like, like, do you think weight training helps? I, I think it does a little bit. So I don't do a lot of weight training because I slipped a disc in my back. So I don't do like a lot of squats. Um, we did, we do a lot of band workouts, um, which I think helped with like explosiveness and all that. But I mainly worked on like, I don't know if you've ever seen like those punching pads, like those MMA pads, like I worked on kicking those over and over again, and just listening to that sound, like getting the right sound down. And then I went in and started kicking a soccer ball. Um, and I think that helped a lot. 
And, but I, I was, that's so funny. Cause I was thinking that too. I was like, I want to kick it further. Like, how do I kick it further? <laughs> It's like pick a med ball, I guess. (laughs) Yeah, that would hurt. (laughs) So you said you slipped a disc. Um, We know you've had a couple different injuries in college. Can you tell us, like, did you have any, um, like, difficulty getting back on the field? Was it hard to stay positive during that time? Because we have so many lady ballers who are listening who probably have had injuries that they've had to deal with. Yeah, I mean, I went in freshman year and I was, I had a broken foot. They said I was going to redshirt. And that was very frustrating because my mentality was I'm going to come in and, you know, make a difference right off the bat. And so I had like such a bad attitude my freshman year. You get like uh, my class, like who's been with me this whole time is like, oh, you've changed a lot. Because <laughs> I was grumpy. Like I, I had such a bad attitude. And then sophomore year, foot was healed, hurt my back, but like was still able to train. And that was so frustrating going out and training, but knowing if I wasn't good enough, wasn't going fast enough because I was still in pain. Mm -hmm. Um, So just really focusing on like how the things that I can control, like my rehab, that was something I could control. And my attitude was something I could control. And so I just continued focusing on that. So like when my junior year came along and um, I was behind two senior goalkeepers so they were splitting time and I knew I wasn't going to play so I just continued being like okay this I need to help the team out here I can be a good practice player and make the team better and they're going to make me better as well we're, we're going to feed off each other in that competition so um and then senior year rolls around and I'm like training so hard running all the time and I was running too much and I um strained my or I, I broke the top of my foot um from a stress fracture I was like of course me so I'm in a boot like um the beginning of the season we don't know if we're gonna have a season because of COVID and all this stuff um so just really trying to stay positive and um I finally got healed and was you know um, still sitting on the bench, just waiting for my time. Um, and when I was called up, I was, um, super excited and didn't want to look back. I I took every opportunity, every game, like one day at a time, um, made sure like continued working hard in practice. And I got to give a lot of credit to my teammates. Like they've, they've been incredible. They have been working hard through this whole year. Um, and it just, this year has been so difficult. So I'm so proud of all of them for, you know, how hard they worked and that they stuck with it um, through, you know, all the ups and downs. Oh, I can't even count how many COVID tests we had this year. <laughs> so, um, yeah. But I, just, one, oh, sorry to interrupt you. I was going to say one thing to point out, you, you got your first collegiate start in the fourth game of your senior year. Yeah. Like, that's crazy. I, to, to really think about that, of most people at that point, like, I mean, especially on our team, people get frustrated being on the bench and they lose sight of their goals and they'll, they, they would quit by then. Mm-hmm. And you just had probably the most epic year that a female soccer player could possibly <laughs> happen in, in one year during COVID. And that was because you stuck it out throughout, you know, those three years of multiple injuries, sitting on the bench, knowing there were senior players above you that, mm-hmm. that you weren't going to start above. Like, what, were there any moments when you were like, this is like, what am I doing this for? And you know, like you have that feeling like, oh, I want to quit because I'm not getting playing time. We're all so focused on playing time. What advice would you have for, you know, people who are feeling like that? Yeah, I mean, for sure. I definitely had those moments. I had moments where I was like, is this worth it? Like, I'm hurt all the time. I like, am I supposed to play soccer? Um, and the one big thing is I, you know, my family and I had close friends around me who, um, like held me accountable for things and and would always check me. They're like, no, like you, you can push yourself. You can, you can succeed in this. Um, So I, I really appreciated that. And then also just not, I don't know, not being, not fixating on like the soccer per se and like being able to play, but just enjoying like who you're with and your teammate, like my teammates are the best people I've ever met. They're like my best friends they are amazing. They're so funny and just so talented all around like academically so just enjoying that time as well and like it's not always about like being able to play and getting out there and yes that is a huge part of it and yes you want to do that but if you're struggling to find something that's like keeping you on like just think about your teammates think about how much you enjoy soccer and just being around it and the fact that you can learn so much even though you're not out there on the field So take that time to like absorb as much information as you can, learn more about your teammates, like really grow 
and just become a, a good teammate because it makes you better in the end. I feel like so many people regret quitting or just mentally checking out, especially with injuries. Um, but I feel like no one regrets sticking it out and having those friendships forever. Like mm -hmm. you're not going to be like, Oh, I didn't play enough. I wasn't on the field enough during those four years. You're gonna be like, I had the best four years with my best friends yeah. who were my family and even better winning a championship. Like whether yeah. you're on the field or not, every person on your team is, was a part of that. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you remember those locker room speeches and the dance parties and you remember those <laughs> yeah. way more than yeah you know any specific game or any one moment um so yeah i totally agree and i feel like too it like makes you like what you said about just appreciating being around them and having fun it just makes you more present and i know there's like so many players who are like i just wish this was over like i want to graduate so i don't have to like wake up at 6 a.m and do all these crazy fitness tests but then when you look back you're like oh my gosh it just like went like this and i didn't appreciate it as much as i you know i wanted to so Definitely take note, everyone listening, like just be present and have fun. Like remember why you're, why you showed up in the first place to just have fun. So that's a great piece of advice. Yeah, for sure. That must make you feel good that your teammates recognize that like shift in your mentality too from freshman year, like being more negative and just being kind of bummed out to senior year, I'm sure. Yeah, I mean, it, and I'm glad they called me out for it too. Cause it, you know, I, I didn't like the person I was freshman year. Um, and I wasn't, you know, I wasn't a good teammate. I wasn't a good friend and I've learned so much from them and I'm just very thankful that like I have them cause they're awesome. So <laughs> they're going, I love how they like went in through my comments and were like, you know, talking back to people who are like, you don't know her. And I was like, oh, <laughs> love they, they've been awesome. So <laughs> that's so cool. So tell us about the game. Like, tell us about like the feeling of be being in the game. Tell us about like the halftime speech. Give us the whole the whole rundown. Yeah, so um, I honestly wasn't terribly nervous for the game, um, mainly because like I just played in the SEC tournament and I was like, that yeah. was my thing. I was nervous <laughs> about that. <laughs> um, but yeah, the, the kickoff and everything was um, really cool. Just went out there and knew what I had to do and went out and executed it and um, uh, just, I, I think the moment afterwards when like my name was up on the screen and they're like, Sarah Fuller made history and like everybody was like cheering. I was like, oh, okay, I did do something. I guess this is kind of cool and like, you know, big and exciting. So um, yeah, and with the whole like speech thing, I was just really trying to get these, like everybody motivated and I, I wanted us to be, you know, pumped up and um, ready to go. And I really think like the past few weeks, like everybody on the team has been so motivated and ready. Um, we have a rivalry game this weekend. So we're very excited about that. Um, and, you know, just excited to take this momentum forward. I know the ne the game after that game was canceled because of COVID. So now, you, now you're back to playing? Yeah, yeah. So we're playing uh, Tennessee this weekend. Um, so very excited about that. Yeah, that's awesome. Are you, you are you getting more comfortable kicking football as you're like practicing it? Yeah. So it's funny. I think last week I was definitely more critical. I was like, oh, this thing's like I'm I'm not kicking it right this way, or my plant foot was wrong, and and um, like halfway through the week, my coach was like, Sarah, stop thinking so much. Like you can do this. Stop thinking so much. And I was like, oh, you're right. So I'll like when I go up and I and I do my walk off and stuff, I'll think of like a meme or something. <laughs> just like, clear my head for a second. That's smart. I love that. And then I, just go up and kick. Yeah. I'm so curious. Like I know that you played one game with like a male dominant team, but as you continue, like I'm very curious what you think a woman brings to a to that game. You know, like I feel like we're so good at other, at things that men really aren't like, you know, we're more social and all that. So like, do you notice anything that you would, a woman would bring to a man's game? Hmm. I don't know. I haven't thought about that. That's really interesting. Well, um, well, I think I was just thinking, cause like you noticed that there wasn't enough encouragement uh -huh. at the game. Right. On yeah. the bench. So like, that's one thing mm -hmm. that maybe they haven't heard. You know? Yeah. I mean, I, I guess. And, I just took a lot of the stuff from like what I've, I've learned from soccer that, you know, we, you have to be dedicated and, and, and encourage one another and we have core values that we stand by. Um, so those are just like ingrained in me and like how I operate. So I, when I came there, I was like, yeah, this, ha this is how it has to be. Like we're, we got to bring this energy. And I think, you know, like anywhere I go, like if I, you know, am a, a 
working somewhere, I would hope to bring that um, that energy and that mindset and that leadership as well. Because I I really have appreciated learning those things and and being like ingrained. It, it's like ingrained in me now how I operate. So I just really appreciate that aspect of what soccer's taught me. We always joke that we'll like chest bump in airports if our baggage is under the right weight and we'll <laughs> yelling and high fiving and like in like workplace settings and we're like this is it's like ingrained yeah. in us. Like you can't undo that about yourself. So I love that you're like big presence as a goalkeeper you know, is carrying over to another sport in an entirely different environment, which is really and, interesting. And you stayed true to like who you are as a person and a player. Like mm -hmm. you didn't change the way you were acting just because mm -hmm. you were on, you know, playing for a men's team, which is mm -hmm. so badass. So well, that's what I really appreciate about the, the football team and the, and the staff as well is that they, they, it wasn't like, oh, you're a girl. They treated me like an athlete. So like mm -hmm. when I went out there, they were like, can you kick? It wasn't like, oh, you're a girl. It was, yeah. can you kick? So like at the end of the day, it's, are you good enough for the job? Get your skill set. I love that. Yeah. So and I just really appreciated that. Like from the second I stepped on the field, that was their mindset and they haven't changed. And, um, you know, and there's even been competition thrown in and I'm like, yeah, all right. Like I want to be the best one for the job. Mm -hmm. That's so refreshing to hear that. You know, like that, I think, and that's just something that's so true with athletes is like all the labels and all that that gets attached to is just ditch out them and they just want to know, can you do the task yeah. that we need, the team needs you to do, you know, like that's as black and white as it gets. I love that. Um, have, have yeah. you, oops, sorry, go ahead, Carl. I was going to say, we got a funny um, question from one of our fans and they were like, is Sarah disappointed that her SEC championship didn't get as much press as her playing football? And I was laughing. I'm like, it's so true. Like, uh, right? It's ridiculous. Like, we played, my entire team played amazing. Like, the <laughs> entire tournament. It just, the, the most beautiful soccer I've ever seen. And, and like, that didn't get the, that attention. And it totally deserved it. Like, women's sports deserve so much attention because all kinds of women put in so much effort and so much hard work and it's fun entertaining soccer like i yeah exactly i really do wish it got more press and more coverage because i think honestly i think that's more cool like all the stuff i we did as a team yeah. in that tournament than just me doing like a squib kick but it's it's still really cool but again yeah we that needs more press for sure mm -hmm. absolutely um, and then also another question I thought was really, really great. Um, what would you tell a player who has self-doubt or is getting doubted by other people? Uh, just block it out, you know, and, and you have to honestly learn to be mentally tough and that's a hard thing to do, but that's the best thing you can do for yourself is to, to block out and don't listen to it. I mean, it's, it's okay to f have someone you trust, like give you criticism and, and understand how to take that criticism. But if it's like, you know, I'm getting these trolls on my Instagram. I don't look at that. Like, that's good. you don't know, he doesn't know what he's talking about, you know? So um, just, just don't listen to it and keep doing your thing. I love that. It's not even worth your energy. Yeah, yeah exactly. It's got to Remind Sorry, me. I was just going to say, it's got to feel pretty cool to know that you've inspired so many other athletes to do this. Like, to, I'm sure there's girls who are in elementary school, middle school, high school who are like, I want to do that someday. Um, do you have any advice for them? Um, you know, just if that's something you want to do, like write your goals down, like get a notebook, keep mm -hmm. it with you, put your name on it. Like those are your goals. Um, and, and write out baby steps underneath it. Cause like those big goals, like SEC championship, that's a big goal. Mm -hmm. and clearly it took me four years to get there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you have to have baby steps along the way and, and understand that there are going to be, you know, challenges and there's going to be, um, hard things that come your way, whether it's injuries or being told you're going to sit out or whatever it is, but just know that if you keep working and you keep fighting, it, good things will come your way because putting in that effort when you are down and when things are hard just make you that much more stronger and mentally tough when it comes to you know that moment when you have to perform and you'll be able to do it yeah I love that so much and I actually heard this quote the other day it was like a dream is not a dream unless you have a plan mm -hmm. yeah, and I was sure. like whoa like my mind <laughs> grew up I actually bought another notebook. Like I there have like a notebook, but I was like, this deserves it. 
I'm gonna... Use a fresh notebook. <laughs> yeah. yeah, don't do like me. Like, I'll just write something down and I'll put it in my car. And like three years later, I'm like, oh, that was a goal I had. Yeah, get it. Okay. <laughs> like, <laughs> be a little more organized than I am. But <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh this is incredible. God. Like I'm scrolling through the questions that people ask you. I can't even tell you how many people are saying like, thank you for the inspiration or please tell her I look up to her, you know, or please, I feel so much more confident as a soccer player because of you went and go and tried like so kicking. Cool. I, I can't even, it's like overwhelming. It's I so like, cool because like I've had like, uh, you know, girls come up to me and say that, or um, I found out that my high school, um, there's a, there's a girl on my high school freshman football team who started kicking like a month ago or something and I was like no I'm like inspired by you like you did it first you know like you stepped up and and you took on that challenge before it was like you know big press and the news or whatever so I just think I'm like inspired by them that's so cool that like they the people are stepping up and um changing the narrative on that I love that a lot of people are also asking when did you know that you wanted to be a goalkeeper like solely a goalkeeper <laughs> and playing college that's funny. Um, so I played soccer since I was five. Uh, and then I think about 12 years old, I got tired of it because my coach kept putting me in goal and I thought it was like a punishment. <laughs> yeah, like, Cause I played midfield and I was like, I'm scoring goals. Like, yeah. And I just was so frustrated. So I took a year off and then of course my little sister starts playing soccer and I was like, well, she can't beat me in this. So I had to start playing again. <laughs> and, <laughs> um, and I joined um, uh, like a club indoor team. They were just like having fun. And, and, and we ended up going to the um, finals and it went to PKs and I was the goalkeeper. They put me in goal. I saved every PK. And I was like, oh, okay, this can kind of be fun. <laughs> Um, and that's when I met my goalkeeper coach who I still train with today and um, still it's family friends with and everything. And um, he actually taught me how to be a goalkeeper and, and really encouraged me in it and said like, Hey, you can, you can do this. Like this is something you can be good at. So um, ever since that moment, I guess I was like 12 or 13. That's when I decided I wanted to be a goalkeeper. I also think you have to be like a little crazy to be <laughs> a goalkeeper too. <laughs> we want to be a teacher. We love the t-shirt that says that. It's so funny you said that. I always feel bad saying it as a field player, but like you guys are a different type of yeah. crazy. Like that's like You're a different retirement. breed. No, it's so funny because like um yeah, you know, you get hit in the face all the time, like making face saves and stuff. And my nose bleeds like every time I get hit in the face. And so I'll make a save, I'll make a face save or something, and I just immediately walk to the training trainer room and like stick a tampon in and walk back out. <laughs> like it's so funny. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god that's great so what are, do you have any plans after you graduate um yeah so i have two years of eligibility left one from uh red shirt freshman year so red shirts aren't a bad thing guys like you can go to grad school and all that yeah. stuff i thought it was the end of the world and now i'm like hey um and i got a covid year um for this year it was like a, a free year so um i got a full ride to uh, university of north texas to um finish my or get my graduate degree and uh uh, hospital administration. Um, so I'm looking at that and I would certainly um, love to look into NWSL and all those opportunities. Um, I think it's amazing oh, and how much it's grown and you guys saw it's like the most engaged, um, you know, platform on social media mm -hmm. um, in, in regards to sports. So I think that's awesome and would love to continue growing that. <laughs> I'm sure a lot of the coaches know who you are. <laughs> I love that you want to stay in soccer because so many uh, lady ballers were like, is she going to play in the NFL? Like, is that a goal of hers? Which may be a goal of yours, but like. You could do and, both. Yeah. Oh but like, yeah, sure. <laughs> bringing, bringing you into the NWSL would be like unbelievable for the women's game and the growth. So like, we hope to see you out there on the field. You know? Yeah. I'm you're not done. You yeah. know, like I, yeah. started seeing, I didn't know if you were going to continue to play them. And now I'm pumped. Yeah. I'm going to have to talk to you. <laughs> yeah. And because of COVID, like they moved the um, NCAA tournament to the spring. So, and we have an automatic bid for that. So I'll be being in all that. And so super excited to, to carry the momentum from the tournament win. And I know my teammates are pumped and they are just incredible. It's just so excited to, to get another season with them. Can't, it's literally like you were just getting started in your senior year of college. Yeah. Literally like all you've wonderful. been like <laughs> you've been building the fire, like all these years. And now it's, you're finally like right at the place where all that work and everything is, is coming to the point where you get to prove yourself. And I think that's 
so awesome. To, like two more years of eligibility and then possibly playing in the professionals sounds like a lifetime of a career left, isn't that yeah. amazing? I'm jealous. <laughs> yeah, and I'm just, I'm really thankful for all the people who like supported me along the way and encouraged me and, and you know, helped me like not stop because it, it's something I enjoy. So I don't know why I would. I was like, at the end of the day, I was like, well, I'm going to play indoor. Like I'm going to continue playing soccer regardless what mm. happens. So, um, you know, why not play um, for your school and uh, everything? So uh, just keep it up. Yeah. <laughs> We're so excited to see where your future goes. Really pumped. And we're really big fans. And we can't thank you enough for talking to us today about it all. Because it's yeah, really thank you guys for having me. Today. <laughs> I think you're going to inspire so many players to, you know, get outside of their comfort zone and to keep to keep playing because no matter what happens, you, you never know. So yeah. I think your story oh, is for sure. <laughs> <laughs> your story definitely shows that. So I love it. Thank all right. Thank Thanks you so, much. so much. Thank you. Good luck in your game this weekend. Thanks. Yeah. Crush <laughs> it. All right. Bye.